Thank you, uh, it, Professor uh, Goish. Uh, it is a real pleasure to have the opportunity to come back to uh, Portugal uh, at ISTE, I could say, uh, in order to give uh, this uh, conference because uh, uh, I, am been, I have been involved in the topics uh, I shall speak about, especially on, on borders, as you told, and also on the topic of the right to mobility as a human right. I, I wrote a small book, which is this one, very small and very black. It is a collection of CNRS uh, publication, Le Droit des Migrés, uh, and uh, also uh, a lot of articles uh, uh, and chapters on uh, borders, bordering and rebordering uh, policies in Europe. Perhaps I shall uh, begin uh, by the topic of borders in order to extend the reflection with uh, you uh, about the question of the right to mobility as a human right. Uh, first, borders. Uh, the question of borders uh, relating to migration uh, is uh, relatively uh, recent uh, because uh, in the past, uh, uh, in some places in the world, the borders were, uh, we, we don't uh, 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 did not speak about borders, but uh, more on the, the confin, which is uh, the very end of many uh, territories. Uh, and most borders we were not totally closed uh, for uh, mobility uh, in most places in the world, ex except for the Iron uh, Curtain, for example, which fell in uh, 1989 uh, and uh, uh, some uh, other places. But in the past, uh, crossing border was inver inversed comparing uh, with now. Uh, in the past, uh, crossing border uh, was uh, in a, a land political landscape where the emigration states, the states of departure, uh, prohibited uh, to cross the border for their nationals to go abroad. It was the case for Portugal uh, during a long time. The uh, Portuguese immigration in the, is the first one still in France for the number of Portuguese uh, in France. But in the same time, in the period of Salazar, it was very uh, difficult for uh, uh, candidates to emigration to uh, get a passport, for example. Uh, there were no visas. Uh, and uh, so most of them were crossing the Pyrenean uh, mountains uh, by feet uh, and uh, arrived in uh, across uh, Spain and all after arrived in France and were illegal and then legalized for uh, as a workforce. So it was difficult, as in many places before, uh, to uh, go out of one's country, but relatively easy to enter in another country. And it was the same uh, uh, since uh, the uh, end of the 19th century for those uh, living uh, Russia, uh, living uh, the Ottoman uh, Empire, uh, living uh, Austria, Hungary. Uh, the uh, state prohibited to most of their population the right to go out because population was considered uh, as a very uh, important resource for uh, military uh, forces, uh, for uh, also uh, um, fiscal uh, reasons to, to pay taxes, uh, and also for agriculture to feed the population. So uh, it was very difficult for most to live, except for some uh, ex uh, exiles, uh, to leave one's country, but the entrance was relatively easy. After the uh, period of 1990s, we have seen all over the world, except in North Korea, uh, the possibility to live uh, as a general uh, option, uh, a globalized option. It was easy to live, but very difficult to enter. So there has been a kind of inversion of the logic of crossing the border, the uh, countries uh, uh, which were uh, 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 countries of departure, immigration countries, uh, made uh, possi possible uh, the uh, access to a passport. There has been a generalization 
of the possibility of access to a passport, while the entrance was more and more difficult due, due to visas. And now, uh, especially for Europe, uh, uh, the question of visa is a crucial question all over uh, the uh, entrance in external borders uh, in Europe. So there has been, uh, I, I stress on that, the idea of inversion of the logic of emigration and immigration, uh, which happened mostly after the fall of the uh, Berlin Wall. Some borders disappeared, for example, very important borders, uh, the borders between uh, Eastern and Western Europe, especially in Berlin, with uh, the uh, collapse of the Berlin Wall uh, in 1989. Uh, and uh, some other borders have been more or less uh, forgotten, uh, like the Pyrenees for Portuguese Spanish when the, they entered into uh, the uh, European uh, community. Uh, and uh, other borders appeared as very, very important, very, very dangerous too, uh, such as the Mediterranean uh, as a border uh, between uh, the uh, southern rim and northern rim uh, of uh, the Mediterranean, but also uh, other uh, places uh, like uh, between, for example, we saw recently between Be Belarus and uh, and uh, Poland, because uh, one is inside Europe and the other outside, and uh, between Turkey and Greece after the so-called refugee crisis of, uh, of 2015, and, uh, and also uh, the places of Lampedusa, the small island of Sicily, because it is uh, close uh, to uh, Turkey, uh, to, to uh, Tunisia and to Libya, uh, and uh, the, uh, uh, also uh, in Spain, the Canary Islands, for those trying to cross uh, uh, with uh, the Atlantic uh, road. New roads have appeared, new roads of uh, migration, new borders also, and uh, the result of this situation is a, 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 a landscape where the borders are always uh, 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 further and further. One of the first borders in Europe is not the, the place of the border, but countries, countries which uh, have the role of borders for Europe. Uh, Europe uh, decided with the Schengen uh, system in uh, 1985 to distinguish between the internal open borders of Europe for Europeans, and it was reinforced by the definition of European citizenship in the Maastricht Treaty of 1992 uh, for Europeans, and progressively new Europeans arrived in this uh, 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 organization with the Eastern newcomers. Uh, while so the, the borders have changed geographically, uh, but in the same time, the external borders have been reinforced with uh, the uh, uh, notion of uh, externalization of borders. So the first borders, I could say, are inside Europe in the southern UP, UP, European country, because now uh, most of the uh, European countries are protected by the job uh, of uh, southern European countries trying to control the border. Italy, with the new arrivals uh, from Africa, uh, Greece, uh, with the arrivals uh, from Near and Middle East, uh, Malta, uh, Cyprus, uh, are engaged, involved in the, in the task of, of controlling the external borders of Europe, like Spain and Portugal, but perhaps it is uh, more uh, in uh, turn uh, towards the Atlantic. So uh, perhaps Portugal is less involved, but we will discuss about that in, after the conference. So uh, uh, the first externalization of borders, as we saw during the, the conflict uh, about uh, refugees, welcoming refugees in, to, in 2015, is letting the Medi uh, uh, so the southern European countries, the task of controlling the borders uh, and with hot spots in order to to uh, distinguish be between the 
through refugees and the applicant to refugee uh, status, which would be uh, 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 false uh, in the political uh, debate, uh, uh, refugees of people uh, mostly uh, wanting to enter to work. Uh, and uh, the second border of Europe now uh, are the countries which are on the south rim, southern rim of the Mediterranean, uh, mostly uh, Maghreb countries, uh, uh, also uh, uh, Middle East uh, countries, but also uh, Turkey. Uh, and the, the European policies uh, consisted uh, in uh, developing the so-called uh, externalization of borders with these countries, not European, uh, with uh, uh, agreements uh, of uh, repatriation, repatriation agreements to control the borders. So we are asking uh, to these countries to control the borders for Europe uh, and uh, to uh, accept to take again to re the return uh, of illegals, of uh, uh, fa failed asylum seekers uh, in exchange uh, of some visas for the elites and sometimes uh, of development, short-term development policies uh, in uh, this country. So most of countries of the southern rim of the Mediterranean, which are also immigration lands, have become Im uh, also immigration lands, which was the case for the south of Europe uh, during the mid-80s. Uh, uh, all the countries of south southern Europe made uh, uh, this uh, switch uh, from emigration to immigration but also uh, on the southern rim of Mediterranean because uh, they are facing with new uh, arrivals and they are still emigration countries, immigration countries and transit countries. And the, the notion of the border uh, is different because it is not just the place of the border, but it is a thick border. They have to control all the country. For example, in Morocco, uh, which is asked firmly by Europe due to its geographical position to control uh, its border towards Spain, uh, the, uh, the border uh, is thicker and thicker uh, all around the country uh, because uh, it is not just uh, leaving uh, Morocco, but uh, uh, the, 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 the border control is all over the country. La frontière s'épaissit, as we could say uh, in French, because I know that in Portugal you know very uh, well our French uh, language. La frontière s'épaissit. Uh, and um, the one of uh, and another uh, consequence of that is the development of trafficking, because all the more uh, Europe considers that migration uh, is a security uh, question, uh, and we, we have to conduct a war against migration, all the more traffickers uh, are benefiting from this situation because uh, they get a lot of money uh, with the new routes of migration, which are also very far. Some of them uh, are uh, beginning, uh, are, uh, are uh, living from, uh, for example, Nouadhibou uh, or uh, from uh, Agadez uh, in, uh, in uh, Sahel, in, in uh, Sub-Saharan uh, Africa. Uh, and there are also new borders at East uh, with a very important uh, uh, bilateral agreement which was conducted after the refugee crisis of 2015 with Turkey. Uh, in uh, 2016, it was asked to Turkish, uh, to the Turkish government to control its border for departure toward Europe in exchange of 6 billion euros and uh, some other uh, uh, claims from Turkey which were not accepted, such as uh, facilitation of visas for Turkish coming to Europe and uh, re-examining uh, the uh, Turkish application to uh, entrance into the EU. So uh, now the question of borders have become a kind of diplomacy. There is a diplomacy of borders towards the countries of transit and towards the immigration countries. And some of these southern countries have understood 
the role they can have in conducting a kind of diplomacy towards Europe. For example, uh, in Turkey, uh, we have had uh, uh, this uh, uh, exchange because uh, uh, Tur uh, Turkey is uh, waiting for a better consideration of its uh, place in the uh, discussions uh, and, dip and diplomacy uh, of Europe, thanks to the service it gives to Europe with uh, con its containment uh, of uh, uh, Syrians, Iraqis, uh, Afghans, uh, uh, up to uh, 4 million in this country not coming to, to Europe. But uh, Turkey uh, also is not uh, is signatory uh, of the uh, Geneva Agreement of 1961 for refugee rights, but not uh, on the extension of, of the benefit uh, of the Geneva Convention to all the world, which was uh, firmed by uh, most of countries in 1967. And so uh, all the neighbors of Turkey uh, cannot have the refugee status of the Geneva Convention in Turkey. They can have a provisional uh, uh, residence permit, they can work, they can come back to their country of origin if the crisis is finished. But some of them are wanting to get the refugee status. And in that case, they try to cross from Turkey to Greece. And uh, when uh, in uh, 2019, uh, Turkey uh, said uh, uh, we, you, uh, Europe did not answer to the other request visa for Turkish people, uh, reconsidering the uh, application of Turkey uh, to uh, the EU. Uh, it opened its borders uh, to those who wanted to come to Europe uh, in uh, January uh, 2020, after there had been the COVID crisis, so the, the people uh, were sent back uh, to uh, Turkey. Uh, and we have a very strong uh, humanitarian crisis in the Greek islands, because Greece has a lot of difficulties to examine uh, the uh, uh, applications to asylum. It is a very long uh, uh, pro pro process. Uh, and so there have been deaths uh, in uh, Lesbos and in other camps uh, in these uh, islands, and they have a lot of difficulties to go to the Greek territory uh, and uh, to leave the island. So it is a very strong humanitarian question. Other uh, questions uh, are Libya. Libya has been a, a beneficiary of a lot of uh, border agreements with uh, uh, European countries, but also especially bilateral ones with Italy and France. Uh, and uh, Mr. Gaddafi, uh, the head of the uh, Libyan regime uh, until uh, uh, 2011, uh, has been uh, received with a lot of uh, 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 consideration be because it was considered as saving uh, Europe from the new arrivals of migrants. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, as the country is difficultly uh, managed, uh, the uh, traffickers uh, are uh, the main uh, actors uh, of uh, transfers uh, to uh, Europe uh, with uh, a lot of condemnations, uh, reports of the uh, uh, Human Rights uh, uh, Commission of the United Nations about the so-called Libyan hell uh, with uh, prison, uh, with uh, violations, uh, with uh, slavery and so on. But still then, uh, nothing is really, uh, nothing has really uh, changed uh, in Libya. Uh, if we take the example of Morocco, Morocco uh, is uh, as a very strategic position uh, to, towards uh, Europe, facing with Spain. So Morocco uh, resists in having a multilateral agreement. It has did not accept multilateral agreements uh, with uh, Europe for border control, but it has a lot of bilateral agreements saying that most of the newcomers are not Moroccan uh, uh, people, but are uh, sub-Saharan, and we have agreements with the uh, uh, ECOWAS uh, program with those countries. We don't want uh, to uh, 
uh, to uh, weaken our diplomacy with this country if we send back uh, the people you Europe will send back to us it will be a very uh, important uh, uh, financial and human cost uh, to accept that uh, with all Europe So uh, we don't uh, accept this bilateral agreement. A lot of, uh, in spite of a lot of pressures from the European Union uh, for the acceptance of Morocco, and Morocco decided, for example, uh, in uh, last uh, uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2021 year, uh, to open uh, its borders at uh, Melilla and Ceuta because Spain had uh, welcomed. Uh, an activist of uh, uh, Polisario Front uh, from uh, 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 Western Sahara, and it, uh, the protest of Morocco was we will open the borders uh, to Spain uh, because uh, you welcome uh, our uh, enemy. So uh, this is uh, an, accept, uh, an, an uh, aspect of diplomacy of migration, and Italy uh, had uh, the feeling to be uh, many times, especially uh, in 2013, to be abandoned from Europe, uh, where when a uh, lot of uh, 400 uh, people uh, were uh, perishing in the sea, uh, and the government of Enrico Letta uh, decided uh, to save uh, with the Mare Nostrum operation uh, these people uh, from uh, the sea. So uh, after uh, Europe was not present in this operation, and uh, it, uh, it uh, gave the impression to the public opinion that uh, uh, Brussels and other European countries let uh, Italy uh, do uh, by it itself, which uh, led also to the extreme uh, right in power in 2018. So the connection between the border question and the external and internal policy in many uh, European Uh, Mediterranean and European countries is very high, I could say. Uh, but uh, in the same time, uh, uh, there are other questions which are pending, such as the management of the agreements on refugees for the border uh, 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 public policy, because in the Dublin agreements, which are ruling uh, the asylum seekers to Europe inside the Geneva Convention of 1951, uh, it is said that when somebody uh, arrived, put it, uh, his foot uh, on the European land, it is in this place and in this country that he has or she has uh, to uh, apply for asylum. It does not work because a lot of one-stop, one-shop system. Uh, and so uh, most of the newcomers uh, which who arrive in Greece or in southern Italy or in Malta or in Cyprus uh, don't want to stay there because uh, the opportunities of work uh, in these places are not so uh, important. They have no uh, network, diasporic networks with uh, compatriots in these countries. The language is not uh, known in most cases, so they want to go uh, further. It is very difficult and they are sent back uh, with uh, uh, so uh, these uh, Dublin agreements. And uh, it is now uh, this situation is very comfortable for uh, countries uh, in the center, uh, Central Europe. So, which are not involved uh, in newcomers, uh, and also for Northern Europe, uh, which don't have to manage the newcomers. So, uh, it is uh, it, it, this creates around the question of borders a kind of uh, a conflict between Eastern and Western Europe that we saw during the so-called uh, refugee crisis of 2015, when. Eastern European countries uh, uh, confronted with the arrival uh, of refugees, mostly from Syria, uh, with the so-called uh, Balkan uh, road, uh, said, we don't want refugees, and we will say uh, no 
to all the newcomers, which was the case for Hungary, for example. Uh, and uh, in the Czech Republic, they said, perhaps we will accept some of them, but just the Christian, but not the Muslim um, among the Syrians and Iraqis, for example. So there were very few uh, corresponding to this uh, 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 Fear uh, and uh, uh, so there, ha there has been a crisis of solidarity between European countries facing the question of uh, crossing border, managing borders, uh, and the refugee question. Another uh, aspect, another crisis is still uh, between northern uh, countries involved in the question of welfare and uh, perhaps some. Uh, 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 nationalist uh, arguments about uh, uh, their management of welfare facing with newcomers and the south of Europe, so uh, between north and south, uh, 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 recurring to, to the, the southern border, uh, which is uh, 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 southern Europe, but also the south stream of Mediterranean. So uh, it creates a lot of uh, Uh, complexities uh, inside uh, Europe uh, and in a climate of uh, rising populism. And now I could say that with the question of borders, most of the immigration and refugee uh, policy in Europe is just uh, focused on the question of uh, flows, arrivals, not no other questions, the question of labor force which was the main question in the past, is totally forgotten, even if we are lacking of labor force in many uh, EU countries, and in, in, if some of them are uh, with hypocrisy, introducing them very uh, uh, secretly because they don't want to, to say we will reopen the border to the Uh, needs of labor force, for example, uh, and uh, in the same time, uh, in, if we have a look at the recent uh, European Pact on Migration and Asylum of 2020, which will not be accepted because we cannot uh, think that with uh, the uh, Eastern European countries we could have uh, 27 agreements of votes at the European Council for the Pact, which is very securitary, which is mostly turned towards asylum with, without speaking about other forms of migration. In spite of that, reinforcing uh, the Schengen external system, uh, reinforcing Frontex, uh, uh, also uh, sending back Uh, the illegals and refused asylum seekers to their country, de developing uh, return policies. All that uh, is not really a, a, a policy of migration, but mostly a policy of border control. Uh, and now the security uh, approach, the dissuasive uh, approach, uh, is uh, looking like uh, having uh, leading a war uh, towards uh, immigration. So uh, in this context, I shall introduce uh, the topic of the right to move, because the right to move, the right to mobility uh, is a human right, uh, which was uh, introduced uh, uh, in the past mostly uh, uh, by uh, some uh, international uh, agreements and declarations, and, and the, especially the declarations Uh, 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 of uh, human rights of uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948, uh, which says that every man of, or woman has the right to leave his, can, his can, her country, uh, uh, including uh, his, uh, every country, ex, uh, including his or her country. So it is a universal right to mobility, which was decided after the Second World War, uh, and um, it is uh, considered as uh, the basis of the right to mobility, which has been uh, enriched by the adoption of the Geneva Convention on Refugees of 1951, uh, which uh, considers that every people uh, we, uh, who uh, is persecuted or who has a strong reason 
to be persecuted uh, can uh, apply for the refugee status. So it is a universal right for refugees recognized by the United Nations. While well, there is no universal status for uh, other migrants, for economic migrants, for uh, other forms of migration, the decision is taken by the nation state, uh, by the discretionary acceptance uh, of the, the newcomers. And there is also the uh, Convention on the Right of All Migrants, Workers uh, uh, and Their Families of 1990, which was proposed to the signature uh, uh, in this period and which was firmed just by a thousand countries in the world, 56 now, uh, because uh, it uh, gives right uh, to some rights uh, to uh, illegals. So um, now there is a kind of uh, uh, stake uh, of battle between the north and the, uh, and the south of the world about the question of the right to mobility uh, as a human right. Uh, and this uh, right to mobility is also settled of, on a lot of philosophical Principle. We can uh, come back uh, to uh, Kant uh, in his uh, uh, Treaty of Perpetual uh, uh, Peace, uh, which was uh, written at the eve of the French Revolution, uh, which uh, says uh, that uh, every man uh, or woman uh, is an inhabitant of the planet uh, and has the right to uh, move all over the world uh, and uh, to uh, travel, to visit, not to settle, because it is uh, depending on the uh, acceptance of uh, the host, but it, it, the, the possibility to move uh, is a, a universal possibility, so can't. Uh, and uh, more recently, Sigmund Bauman uh, in two, uh, uh, so 2000, uh, who uh, wrote several books on the topic of uh, um, liquid modernity. Liquid modernity, all uh, factors are moving in the world, uh, uh, trade, uh, finances, uh, information, uh, education, culture, except for men and women. So in this uh, uh, world of mobility, uh, the countries, most countries uh, lo uh, uh, have uh, lost their control on borders, uh, what uh, also was uh, evidenced by Saskia Sassen, who wrote a book at the end of the uh, last century on losing control. The state is no more able to control its border, even it is, says again, we uh, need to control our borders, but in the same time, we are a world of uh, <coughs> liquid modernity, uh, says uh, Sigmund Bauman, and so uh, we have uh, to discuss about this uh, universal right to mobility as a human right. And further, uh, I uh, could uh, add uh, uh, the, uh, the mechanism of uh, multilateral govern governance of migration, uh, and the result was the Marrakesh uh, Global Compact of uh, 2018, uh, we, uh, which uh, says uh, the, the subtitle, if uh, for uh, any uh, 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 secure, ordered and controlled migration, secured for migrants, ordered by his, um, policies, uh, and uh, also uh, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, idea is to manage better uh, migration. And this, uh, uh, this mechanism, which is a multilateral mechanism, uh, was uh, begun by Kofi Annan uh, when he was uh, a state, uh, when he was uh, uh, a general secretary of the United Nations. And he was interested by the mechanism of multilateralism for migration because he said, there has never been any conference on international migration organized by the United Nations. Uh, so it began a mechanism which was the 
uh, the World Forum on Migration and Development, uh, which took place uh, every year since uh, uh, 2006 until the Marrakesh Global Compact, which uh, uh, accumulated a lot of information in various places in the world about the state, uh, the, the, the state, uh, uh, the, the situation of migrants in the world and the, the misgovernment of migration. So the idea is to make uh, of migration a uh, uh, world public good, a bien public mondial. And the definition is something which uh, uh, has no negative effect, positive effect for migrants, for the immigration country, and for the immigration country. Transforming migration into a world public good. Uh, this is uh, one of the ideas of the, uh, of the mechanism of multilateral governance, which is associating immigration countries of the south, immigration countries mostly of the north, but also Gulf countries, and also uh, a lot of actors uh, which which are uh, associations, uh, NGOs, uh, international uh, governmental uh, uh, organizations, uh, and also uh, churches, trade unions, uh, employers, uh, a lot of uh, partners, experts, and, and uh, which is very interesting because it gives the opportunity to countries which don't have a strong uh, uh, position, influence in the world, but which can be strong on the topic of migration. I, I take uh, some examples. Bangladesh. Uh, Bangladesh is one of the poorest countries in the world, but it is important for migration because it is one of the most uh, threatened uh, by uh, environmental disease due to uh, high, uh, elevation of waters. So uh, Bangladesh now is well known for uh, its uh, 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 claim uh, about uh, help about this new uh, environmental uh, uh, possibility uh, of uh, new uh, 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 departures uh, for uh, environmental disease. Nepal is also involved in, in that uh, due to the uh, melting of, uh, uh, of the Himalayan uh, uh, ices, for example, uh, and many other countries. So there are, it gives some new opportunities of visibility and of advocacy uh, for uh, southern countries. Morocco, uh, uh, Mexico, uh, uh, Turkey are very active <coughs> on this uh, mechanism. And we have had to wait uh, the uh, Syrian crisis to uh, lead uh, the General Assembly of the United Nations to adopt a compact on the table of, for the first uh, time of the United Nations to adopt the global compact on uh, migration and uh, signatures uh, and uh, the United States did not sign. It was the period of Trump, president of the United States. But uh, there are two pacts, one with uh, 23 uh, recommendations for migrants, another one with five for refugees. The first one is followed uh, as a, a kind of a, a feuille de route, as we say uh, in French, uh, by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The second one is fo followed by the UNHCR for refugees. Uh, and every uh, five years, we have to come back to uh, what has been done in order to improve uh, the migration question uh, at world level and also at the regional level. So we are progressing, but very, uh, very uh, slowly uh, in the question of uh, uh, making uh, migration uh, uh, as uh, a uh, 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 universal uh, right to mobility, uh, which is a, a very uh, important uh, 
uh, stake because we have uh, perhaps uh, 50,000 uh, deaths in the Mediterranean. Uh, a lot of other places which are very, very uh, uh, dangerous, so for example, crossing between Calais uh, in France uh, and Dover uh, in UK. Uh, we are doing the job uh, that we ask to do for the controlling the border uh, uh, to uh, southern rim uh, Mediterranean countries in France. It is the only example where one country uh, is asked by another European country to control its borders for departure with Calais. Uh, and uh, uh, when there, are, there is a crisis, uh, as we had in last December, 27 deaths in the sea, uh, it was said we have to reinforce Frontex. So Frontex is always the solution which is given. It is not a solution because the, the budget of Frontex has, has been multiplied by 100 uh, between its birth in 2005 uh, and uh, now. Uh, now uh, its budget is uh, uh, 550 uh, uh, billion, uh, million euros. Uh, uh, so it was uh, five, uh, five euros at its birth. So it does not solve anything. Most of the um, decisions which were adopted to control migration uh, are decisions which did not work for 30 years. Return policies, repatriation policies. We have a lot of difficulties to send back the, the, the illegals to their countries which don't recognize uh, these people as their nationals, for example. Uh, and uh, in some cases, it is impossible because the country is in a situation of war, which make uh, difficult to send back uh, the population. Uh, and uh, also, uh, there is no uh, alternative uh, uh, like development because it is uh, development is a long term uh, future, uh, but uh, migration is a short term answer uh, to the questions uh, of uh, uh, life conditions in the countries. Now we are uh, seeing with the question of borders and the right of mobility. Uh, most uh, uh, it is uh, in the same time as say the Borel, the chief of uh, uh, diplomacy in Europe. We have uh, the uh, mix uh, of uh, 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 push factor and pull factor. In in the past, it was mostly a uh, 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 push factor for refugees and a pull factor for migrants. Now we have mixed flows, and they are living. Uh, in the same time, uh, for push factor reasons and pull factor reasons, which are uh, attracting them to Europe, even if most migrants of the south are migrating from south to south, we have that to uh, to give to 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 put it in mind. Uh, but it is uh, Mediterranean is one of the most important border uh, concern for migration in the world. So uh, we, we, we need uh, to uh, uh, really uh, to try to treat better the, the uh, solution. So because most of solutions in the past have 30 years uh, of uh, uh, length and did not uh, change uh, drastically the situation. So the security uh, uh, treatment of borders uh, and the right to mobility uh, have uh, difficulties uh, to be uh, really uh, uh, implemented. Uh, and the only solution to borders would be uh, to open more the ways of legal migration. If we would open more and the the uh, uh, COVID, the crisis of COVID-19 uh, 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 gave us uh, 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 a kind of uh, 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 teaching about that because we saw the shortages of labor force. But in spite of that, we did not open uh, more uh, possibilities of work, for example, in the places where there were shortages of labor force. Due to the uh, rising populism we have in many countries about migration questions. 
So the, uh, the, the, there is a preference for uh, politics to economics uh, in the situation, in our situation regarding borders, uh, in, sp in, in spite of the irrationality uh, of the answer. And uh, uh, the Marrakesh uh, Pact says we have to uh, uh, increase the legal possibilities of mobility uh, if we want uh, to uh, treat better uh, the question of migration and the question of borders. So uh, I, perhaps uh, uh, I can uh, uh, stop uh, now, but uh, I, uh, I should say uh, that uh, the question of the right to mobility uh, as a human right is not uh, uh, an answer uh, uh, saying uh, we need to be mobile uh, for all, uh, but we cannot imagine in the same time uh, a world uh, in this 21st century uh, where uh, two thirds of the population of the world has no right to leave. It has the passport, but no visas. And so there is a hierarchy of visas. If we are European, you can move without visa in 125 countries. If you are uh, uh, Afghan, you can move just to uh, 20 countries, neighbor, because you are, uh, you are representing a total risk uh, if you migrate. So the uh, inequality uh, at birth of the passport is one of the most important inequalities uh, in the world regarding the right to mobility. And we have to reflect about that because it is creating a very uh, important uh, gap uh, at world level. I shall stop here.